So how can we solve this problem? Well, the easiest way is just to avoid ints altogether and instead define one float by a float. Specifically, let's change 1 to 1.0 and 10 to 10.0, and then save this file as floats1.c. Let's now compile it with make floats1, and then run it with floats1, and now I indeed see 0.1. There's another way we could solve it, and that's using casting. Casting is the process of converting one data type to another, assuming it makes sense to do so. In this case, what I could do is go back to the version of code where I'm dividing 1 in int by 10 in int, but I could explicitly tell the compiler that I want to treat 1 as though it's a float, even though it's an int, and I'd like to treat 10 as a float, even though it too is an int. In reality, I could get away with just casting one of these to a float, because if you divide a float by an int or an int by a float, C will return to you a floating point value. But in this case, for good measure, I'll convert both to floats, recompile my program with make floats 1, then run it with dot slash floats 1, and I also see 0 0.1.